हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल नॉलेज अनलिमिटेड एंड वेलकम टू द सिक्स्थ ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ स्टैटिक टाइमिंग एनालिसिस प्लेलिस्ट सो इन द फिफ्थ ट्यूटोरियल और द लास्ट ट्यूटोरियल व्हाट आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इज um what is hold analysis and the mathematical equation of hold time and then i also explained the hold time visualization by going into the flip flop okay so in this video i am going to explain about a skew analysis and for both uh, for what kind of skew will affect what analysis like positive skew negative skew and how it will affect setup time and hold time so before going into that skew analysis let me um, take a quick peep into the interview question that was asked so the question was which is critical setup time or um, hold time so which is critical so that i'm going to answer now so if you remember the equations for setup time it has a dependency on t clock period this is the operating frequency of your design so at that time itself in uh, some third tutorial i guess i have said you to remember the equation of the setup time which has a dependency on the clock period but if you see the hold time equation it purely depends on the design means clock to queue delay and the combo delay and the data path so it doesn't depend on your clock period frequency or your operating frequency of the design so from this it is evident that in the worst case scenario let's say you could not able to meet the setup time still the chip can be used for some application but not at the desired frequency you can increase the t clock and you can still make it work or useful but if you mess up with the whole time then it's of no use you can't use that at all so as per this equation you can relate that hold time is more critical but conditions apply both setup and hold time both are very important for design okay but in general in the worst case still you can use if there is setup violation with uh, not at desired frequency but at a higher um, or lower frequency or higher period of time but for the hold time if you do anything wrong then the design is of no use okay so with that we will go to the skew analysis so skew analysis okay so there are two types of skew one is called as a positive skew and one is called as negative skew so before seeing what is positive and negative let's understand the skew properly okay so if you see here again i will go to my diagram that is two flip flops d q d q clock clock and this is flip flop 1 and this is flip flop 2 let's say clock is coming from some source okay some source and it is reaching flip flop 1 as well as flip flop 2 there is a chance that there is some parasitic delay or some buffer insertion to boost it or some inverters due to different edge triggered flops and all whatever it is but there is a chance that there is the delay in the clock path from the launch flop and capture flop let's say for flip flop 1 this is how the clock is being reached for flip flop 2 there is a chance that it might be little delayed okay so this delay is what we called as skew if you remember we have solved one one of the most difficult question in setup analysis which we already covered the skew unknowingly okay it's like we added the delay in that clock path which is called as skew okay so how this skew will affect exactly is if the clock to the capture flop is late or is to the right side then this we called as positive skew whereas in the other case let's say the clock is somewhere near okay i'm i'm ignoring all this but if let's say clock is before this this is our traditional edge right if the clock is edge is coming before then this is called as negative skew now when this kind of thing is comes is this is very much clear data is flowing in this way and clock is coming from the source in this way and for flip flop 1 it is coming early than to flip flop 2 then the possible scenario is positive skew will occur oh sorry for that okay positive skew will occur but in the other scenario where let's say a clock source can be located at any point in the design right though we try to make the clock path too much like what we call unique or uh, symmetric but uh, like there will be h type tree type and all right from this source clock will be going parallelly this is the source so the delay in each path will be same to all the flops so though we ensure all those but there is a chance that uh, clock is getting faster to the capture flop and slow to the launch flop let's say clock is coming in this way then it will reach first to flip flop 2 then to flip flop 1 right in that case there is a chance that occurrence of negative skew 
So just these are kind of analogies for you to remember. But let's understand which skew will help in what kind of analysis. Let's say there is a clock for flip flop one. This is flip flop one clock. I mean clock reaching at flip two flip flop one. With some delay, it is going to flip flop two. Okay, and this is the skew. So if you see for the setup analysis, this is the usual window. Let's say edge occurs here. This is the usual window after removing the setup time. But now the clock edge at the flip flop two is further more delayed. So you have this much skew. What is the skew? Let's say some five nanoseconds. This much period is being added to your setup time analysis, which means your data can take some more time to reach because now the setup time is not from this edge, but from this edge. From here, you will see the setup time. So the positive skew will help for setup time. What will happen for whole time analysis means if at this edge it is taking at the second, the flip flop one should hold for this much more time than usual time. Let's say it usually holds for T hold equal to two nanoseconds. Then it should hold more than two nanoseconds. That is plus five nanoseconds. This Q because it the, at, at this edge, the, the flip flop two will start processing the data. Then if the data comes at usual time, then still there is a possibility that both the data will come at the same time. So it should take some more time to hold the data before sending it to flip flop two. So that means for whole time, it's a drawback that the skew will make it to hold for more time to make it work. But since whole time of a design is of a flop is constant, so definitely it will violate the whole time. So if you see the other scenario now, that is a negative skew case, it's quite opposite. Let's say this is the clock going to flip flop one. I mean, same clock, but at flip flop one, this is how it is for flip flop two. Let's say it is reaching little early somewhere here. So this is the clock at flip flop two. So now what will happen is if you see the uh, setup analysis, the data is sent here, but the data should come setup time before this edge, not this edge. So obviously the setup window is being reduced. Okay. I mean, setup time will be constant, but the time you have for TCQ plus T comb and all in the data part is being reduced cumulatively. That means the negative skew will affect the setup time. But if you see the whole time, anyway, the data will be coming at here, but here it is ready to capture or process the data at this edge for the flip flop too. So in a way you are helping it. If it holds little less time, also no issue for you because earlier data is already been started processing by flip flop too. So in for the negative skew, it is uh, advantage for the whole time, but it is bad for the setup time. So altogether, if you see at the design perspective, both hold and setup time are crucial, right? So uh, having the proper skew or no delay between the clock is highly advisable. That's why uh, synthesis tools and all will do too much optimization for this clock, uh, setting up cloth, uh, clock, which will reach to all the flops at the same time. So uh, that's all for this video. So I hope you guys learned something new in this video. And if someone asks how the skew will affect the setup and hold, you can, you should be in a position to answer that. So. Uh, we'll see you in the next tutorial.